Yeah, are we live on YouTube? It's doing that thing again. We are! Hello to everybody watching me over at the Fish Hotel on Instagram and a big hello to everybody who's also currently watching me live on YouTube. Do you know what? I'm so excited today because it's Friday and it's a very special day today. It's BE day so that's why I've got my red pog dots on and we've been making bunting and doing all sorts of very fun things. So let's start while we wait for everybody to come on board with us and sit down and get ready for a sing song some stories and some arts and crafts let's sing our welcome song so show me those big waving hands here we go hello everybody it's time for us to sing hello everybody it's time for us to sing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Time for us to sing. Oh, it's so, so lovely to see you all. Now, if I'm with you and I'm with the fish today, that means, Princess Anna, that I am here on a Friday. So that means it's Friday today, which is very good. It's the fifth day of the week. So let's count our days of the week and let's see where we land when we get to Friday, okay? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And tomorrow is Saturday, Science Saturday. I cannot wait, Princess Anna, because that's when we're going to be doing our mini science experiment. And then the day after that is Sunday. So to help us remember the order of the days of the week, we sing a song every day over on my page, Enchanted Nanny. We sing it at our 11 o'clock meeting. And we sing it at our 2.30 meeting. That sounds really, really grown up, doesn't it? We sing our Days of the Week song and it helps us remember their order. So if you know it, sing it along with me. Here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday too. Every day's a happy day, every day's a magic day, each day's a different day and every day is new. Oh, I do love singing that and it really does help me remember the order that those days go in. I wonder if you've been busy learning it too. Now, today, over on my page, this morning, we learnt a brand new sound. We learnt vroom. And so, at the end of our session today, for our arts and crafts, we are going to be making vases out of empty bottles. They can be glass bottles, or they can be plastic bottles. And we're going to be using that. We're going to be using some glue, some tissue paper that's been cut up, a paintbrush and some water. So that's going to be right at the end. And if you don't have those things, don't worry. You can watch along and then do it a little bit later. But I always put that bit at the end so that you get to enjoy all of the songs and the story. And then you can always turn off if you don't want to do the arts and crafts. But I hope that you do it with me because it's really, really lovely to see all of the wonderful things that you create. Now, this might be your first time watching me ever. So you might not know, but do you know what? You can comment and Bella, my lovely daughter, will write down your comment. And if you'd like me to say a big hello to anybody, then I'll see it and I will. And if you have any song requests for me today, then you can write them down on my Instagram uh, where you're watching live now or you can hop over onto my YouTube channel and watch there where I will see your comments instantly. For example, I can see that lovely Safi today has a big wish. Her big wish today is to get one of the current buns. Well, Safi, we will sing the current buns song today, but I need to know, I need five children's names. So I need to know who's watching. So quickly, get your little one's names down there. And then they might be in, in with a chance of collecting one of my current buns today. Let's start singing. The first song that we're going to sing today is called Wind the Bobbin Up. So show me those beautiful winding hands. Are you ready? Here we go. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up. 
pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands upon your knees. Well done, everybody. Absolutely brilliant. Now, we sang a song earlier on and we were looking for a word that had our vroom sound in it. I teach phonics every weekday at 11am and that was today's sound. And we sang the music man. So I hope you know this one. Whenever I say that we're going to sing this one, Bella's face, so my little girl is 10 and she helps me with my story times and she goes, because she knows it's going to mean she has to sing along a little bit. But she's a great singer. We just have to give her a big cheer. Let's give her a round of applause. We're going to go round one way and round the other way. <laughs> They're all clapping for you, Bella, I promise. Okay, so we're going to sing The Music Man today. And I hope that you've sung it before. But if you haven't, do join in as soon as you feel you know it. Here we go. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. I play the piano, pia pia piano, piano piano, pia pia piano, pia piano. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. I play the violin, fire, fire, violin, 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 fire, fire, violin, fire, violin. Pia, pia, piano, 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 pia, pia, piano, pia, piano. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. I play the saxophone, saxa saxa saxophone, saxophone saxophone, saxa saxa saxophone, saxa saxophone. Buy a buy a violin, 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 buy a buy a violin, buy a violin. Pia pia piano, 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 pia pia piano, pia piano. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. I play the big bass drum, everybody. Big bass, big bass, big bass drum. Big bass drum, big bass drum. Big bass, big bass, big bass drum. Big bass, big bass drum. Saxa, saxa, saxophone. Saxophone, saxophone. Saxa, saxa, saxophone. Saxa, saxophone. Buy a buy a violin, violin, violin. Buy a buy a violin, buy a violin. Pia pia piano, 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 pia pia piano, pia piano. Phew! That one is always super tiring. Now, Bella, do we have any big hellos over on Instagram today? Let's have a look. Who have we got? Our big hello from lovely Safi. Hello! Now, if you're watching over at the Fish Hotel, do say a big hello. I want to do that current fun song today, but I need lots of children's names before I can do it. I've got to give those current funds out to somebody. And if you're watching on YouTube, do say hello if you haven't already. Okay, so the next song that we are going to sing today is one, two, three, four, five, Once I Caught a Fish Alive. Are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Once I Caught a Fish Alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Well done, everybody. Now, we're going to read a little story today. This story is called Binks Lost in France. So I think on the stories on the Fish Hotel, it said something like Binks Lost in London, but it's actually Binks Lost in France. Because can you see, there's the Eiffel Tower. So let's read this one. It's by a lovely author called Michelle Hurd. Binks and his family booked a trip to France. He was so excited that he could sing and dance. Two weeks later, they took the train. Even in his cat box, he didn't complain. 
exploring the city ever so happily, so much so he lost his family. He looked to his left and he looked to his right. No matter where he looked, they were nowhere in sight. Binks ran off quickly to pick up a trace. Feeling overwhelmed, he slowed his pace. It suddenly dawned on him he was lost. How would he get home? How much would it cost? Ooh. Binks bumped into someone that seemed quite kind and quickly explained who he was trying to find. I'll take you to your family. Come with me. Really? Are you sure? Binks said with glee. Suddenly, Binks remembered what he'd been taught, who we speak to, where we go, and what to do, he thought. Just because strangers don't have sharp teeth and red eyes, they can still do us harm and tell us lies. The stranger sensed that Binks was scared. Come with me, I have sweets, he declared. With the three W's in his mind, Binks shouted, no, and ran away, leaving the stranger behind. Binks collected his thoughts near a park, aware that the sky was getting dark. Then he spotted something that gave him hope. Dashing over to a mum and a child, he gave her a poke. Binks's eyes were flooding with frustration. The mother knew what to do and took him to a police station. He could tell she was caring and meant him no harm. Walking alongside them, he was feeling more calm. Bonjour! People at the station spoke a language unknown. He wished he was with his family curled up at home. Wait! His collar contained his telephone and address. He pointed to it quickly, hoping to put an end to this mess. Call was made and Binks's family arrived, so thrilled to see them that he cried and he cried. He learnt a valuable lesson. Oh, Binks was lucky that he had not was not harmed by this stranger. He learnt a valuable lesson. Some are a danger. Knowing your numbers, addresses and names are a must. Always remember, there are strangers you can and can't trust. You should never leave and go off on your own. Follow your family even when you're away from home. The main thing you should do to keep yourself safe if you get lost, remember these rules and have some faith. And that's the end of the story. Binks Lost in France by Michelle Hurd. Let's sing another story before we start doing our crafting. So, not another story, another song. My goodness, you can tell it's Friday today, can't you? Let's sing another song. We're going to sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Are you ready? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Right, now we've done our beautiful singing. Elsa, I wonder yes, if you... Anna. <gasps> it's Anna. Do you know, it's a definite Friday today. Anna, I wonder if you'd like to sit down there with my Gruffalo. There you go. Well, actually, you can have some time with Bella. There you go, Anna. Okay, so I'm going to bring my desk over now. So I've been really, really lucky because a brilliant, brilliant company called Big Dunk have given me some desks and they're made of cardboard and they're absolutely brilliant. And this is a children's one, but do you know what? It's wonderful for when I want to do arts and crafts. So what we're going to need for today's craft, let's take this down so that you can see things really clearly. That's better. So we're going to need an empty bottle and it can be a glass bottle or it could be a plastic bottle or it could even be a jam jar. We're going to make a vase for some beautiful flowers. And this weekend, we can go out and find some when we go on our walk. So, 
Here's our bottle. Now, we're going to need to get our bottle ready. We want it to be sticky so that we can cover it in our tissue paper. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get a little pot. And inside the pot, I'm going to squeeze some PVA glue. Now, you can cover your jar or your bottle in glue with a glue stick and that's absolutely fine but I quite like using PVA glue for this and a paintbrush. It's a bit easier and it's really really good for those fine motor skills. So I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom and then I've got some warm water in my measuring jug. Just a little bit. I'm going to pop a little bit of that into the bottom of my jar and then I'm going to give it a stir I don't need a spoon because I'm going to use my paintbrush to paint my bottle. So I'm going to stir it so I get a little gluey, watery mixture. Lovely. That's brilliant. I'm going to pour a little bit of that water back out into my measuring jug. I put a little bit too much in. That's okay. Sometimes we do things like that. We're going to mix that up so we should have a nice gluey mixture. Lovely. Now what I'm going to start to do is paint my bottle. So do you know what? I'm actually going to put it onto a little tray. And then that will catch all the drips. Lovely. Okay, so we're going to start to paint our bottle with that lovely gluey watery mixture. We want the whole thing to be painted. And it will start to dry a little, but it'll still be sticky, so don't worry too much. But making sure that our bottle is already quite sticky makes it all a bit easier. So we go all the way around our bottle, all the way up to the top. There we go, we paint it all the way around. It's lovely to see some of you are already crafting along with me. If you don't have your craft things today, don't worry. You can always watch this video again. It's available on YouTube or you can watch along and then do it over the weekend. But whatever you do, do make sure to message me with whatever you make because I'd love to see your wonderful creations. There we go. We are very nearly right away around our lovely bottle. Now, the great thing about tissue paper is it gets stuck to the glue and to the water. So you can't really go wrong with this one. There we go. So my bottle is now ready. It's gluey and it's sticky and it's ready to have its colours stuck onto it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tissue paper. I'm going with summer colours. I've got yellow, I've got orange, I've got a slightly or lighter orange and a green. These are my favourite summer colours. Now if you want to do a vase for the E-Day, you could make yours red, white and blue. So the next thing we want to do is we want to turn our big sheets of tissue paper into little pieces, just like the ones that I've got in this little box here. Now you don't have to use scissors. I used scissors to cut squares, but you know what's even more fun? Is when we rip the paper, because it doesn't have to be exactly the same. So we can rip it like this to make lots and lots of shapes that we put in our pot, or we can use scissors and we can cut the paper into strips like this. But if you're going to use scissors, do make sure to ask a grown-up because scissors are sharp. My daughter always says we have to remember because scissors are dangerous, but I always remind her that scissors are only dangerous if they're not used properly. So we make sure that we're sitting down, we make sure that we don't run with them. And when we do walk with scissors, we hold them with the pointy bit in our hand. Okay, so I now have a pot of lovely, colourful shapes, and I'm going to start sticking them all over my gluey bottle. This is the really fun bit. Now, we want to overlap lots of those colours. It doesn't matter if we overlap like this and if bits stick up, that's absolutely fine because we're going to put more glue onto our bits of tissue paper, you see. So it's all good. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that our vase is absolutely covered and there are no gaps. 
because when we then fill it up with water and the light shines through, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. And that glue on my glass is just helping to keep it all there. So we cover it all over. Now I'm going a little bit fast today because I've got all of you watching. But you make sure to take your time and enjoy sticking all of those bits of paper onto your bottle and choosing where they all go. You can use all kinds of colours. You could even make a rainbow vase. And if you know anybody that's still working, so like nurses and doctors and teachers, and who else is still working at the moment? Dentists and people working in the shops to look after us to make sure that we still have all of our food to eat and people working and making sure that all of our lovely streets are nice and clean and our parks are still beautiful. So all of those people, and if you know any one of those, you could even make a vase for them, fill it up with flowers, and you can give it to them as a gift to say a big thank you. So we're turning our vase. Oh, look at those lovely colours. Isn't it looking so, so special? I'm loving it. Bella, what do you think? I like it. Do you like it? Are you going to make one as well? Maybe if we have enough mugs and jars. We could make one for Nanny's birthday, couldn't we? Yeah. And that's the lovely thing at the moment. Lots of us can't get to the shops. And you know what? It's making us make presents for people's birthdays, which is really, really lovely. Bella, have we had any other hellos over on the fish? Yeah, Theodora. Theodora! Hello, Theodora! Oh, I love, do you know, Theodora, I absolutely love your name. It reminds me of a name in a musical. And it, I, whenever I hear the, whenever I hear your name, Theodora, it makes me want to sing the song. And this, this, the name in the musical is very different. It's Theodosia, but it's, it's just a bit similar. It's a lovely, lovely song. I wonder if you, if, um, if your grown up knows the musical I'm talking about. They might do, they might not. There we go. We're nearly getting there. I've just got a few gaps. But who's making this along with me today? I wonder if you are. And if you're not, who's planning on making it later? So now will come the fun bit. This is the bit that I really love. I've got to make sure that my bottle is covered. Let's stick that all on. Can you see any gaps? Oh, there's a little gap there, isn't there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to break up little bits now for any gaps. Oh, and there's a little gap just there as well. Let's pop that bit there. Oh, and one there. So it's good to check for any of these gaps. And also, do you know what? I want to go all the way around, all the way to the top of the rim of my bottle. So I'm going to go up to the top of it because I don't really want anyone to know what it was before it was a vase. It's a secret. So I'm going all the way up to the top now making it very lovely. Oh, I hope that this works. I'm sure that it will. So if you're crafting along with me, if you do make one of these vases today, I'd love to see it. It's so lovely because lots of you craft along with me every day at half two. And I get lots of lovely photographs of all the wonderful masterpieces that you've been able to make. You're all such clever artists. Now, don't worry, Safi, we are going to sing the Current Buns song, in case you're waiting. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your paintbrush and all of its glue, and you're going to start pressing down all of those colours with all of that glue. And for this bit, you really do need the PVA, because a glue stick might work, but it just doesn't quite set the same. Now, you'll notice with tissue paper that the colours start to run into each other a little bit. Who's done the tissue paper hair colouring thing? It's really, tissue paper is really funny stuff because the colour comes out really, really quickly. But that makes the artwork that you can create with it really exciting because the colours blend together. Except Ooh, it doesn't it. work in my hair. And it doesn't, you know, it works in everybody's hair but Bella's hair because her hair is just too thick isn't it? Just too thick. There we go. Oh, this is looking great. So now you're starting to see that lovely vase shape again. And if we've got anybody watching over in America, I know you call it a vase. 
don't you? We call it a vase and you call it a vase. Now, when you start to press down your tissue paper, you might start to see some gaps appearing and that's fine because you can simply pop a little bit more on and then um, push it down and put a little bit more glue on. So you can get a little bit more paper and fill those gaps just in case, oh, but it's lovely, starting to have a really, really good looking vase. I'm glad I put that board down. Now this is a messy job, so you're going to need something underneath so that things don't get stained. So some newspaper, or even just a piece of paper that you don't mind getting all colorful. Oh, we're nearly done. I'm loving this. Absolutely gorgeous. What does everybody think? And there, now, what will happen? The wonderful thing, if you don't already know, and I've got all of the colour on my hands as well. The wonderful thing about PVA glue is when it sets, it sets shiny. And so your vase is going to look even more beautiful. You won't believe it. It's just going to look so stunning. So right now I'm just going through any little gaps that I can find, popping them down, popping a little bit more glue on them, just like that. Is that you, Bella? Deary me, <laughs> not to worry. We colour it all in, we make sure that it's all got that lovely PVA and I will take a photograph of it when it's dry and show you that it's all shiny. Now, once it is dry, you might notice that some of the pieces of paper start to peel up a little bit and that's okay because you can coat them with another layer of PVA glue. And the more you do that, the, the harder it will set and the shinier your vase will be. So there you have it. That's how we recycle a bottle to make a lovely vase. And I'll take a photo once I've done and I'll put some lovely flowers in it. Right then, let's sing our final couple of songs. Bella, would you like to invite Elodie inside so that she can sing along with us? I think she'd love to come in. Right then, so we are going to sing our current bun song next, but I need some extra special help, so I need you to listen in. And if anybody else is listening that would like to join in with the current bun song, well then let me know. Elodie, would you like to come and join in? Oh no, we're not doing that just yet. Do you want to come and join in with the current bun song with little Safi? Would you like the storm? And Theodora. And Theodora. Come on then. Let's come and sit down. Your treats from Safi. You want my treats from Safi? Well, they're my birthday treats. It was my birthday yesterday, everybody, and we, we had a party, didn't we? But, Mum, please. Soon. After this. Okay? Right then. So... We've got our lovely basket today, and inside our basket, we've got some currant buns. Would you like to see? Yeah, there we go. You hold the basket then. And I'll get my other tray, and we can get those currant buns ready. Okay, so have you seen them? Are they in there? Can you count them out onto my tray? One. Thank you. Two. Thank you. Three. Whoops, thank you. Four. Lovely. Five. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. So we sing, should we sing the song? Here we go. Five currant buns in a baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Safi with a penny one day, bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are. Would you like to give that one to Safi? Come on, you have to go. There you are, Safi. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see who's going to get the current bun next. One, two, three, four. Four current buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Theodora with a penny one day. Bought a current bun and took it away. There you are. Can you give it to Theodora? <laughs> There you are, Theodora. That one's for you. Now we've got one, two, three. Three, three currant buns in a baker's shop. Round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Robin with a penny one day. Bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are, Robin. That one's for you. Can you give that one to Robin? Oh, look, he can't see it. There you go, Robin. Just from Elodie. 
Two currant buns in a baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Elodie with a penny one day, bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are, Elodie, that one's for you. I wonder who's going to have the last one. One currant bun in a baker's shop, round and fat with a cherry on top. Along came Bella with a penny one day, bought a currant bun and took it away. There you are, Bella, that's your first currant bun, isn't it? <gasps> wonderful. Well, it's been absolutely wonderful to see you today. It's been nice to have a little group, actually. I don't need the current buns. You don't need the current buns. That's okay. Let's pop them back into our basket. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you very much. You're so clever with your numbers. Now, I will be live tomorrow on my page, Enchanted Nanny, where we will be learning numbers. We're going to do number fun, because we always do on a Saturday. But the really, really exciting thing about Saturday's new for tomorrow is that we're going to do science. So we're going to be doing, doing an experiment all about hot water and cold water. And if you'd like one of our science sheets, Oh, I don't seem to have it at the moment. Then you can join in. Let me know if you do want one of those and I'll get one printed off for you or I'll download it for you. They look like this. This one's a bit scrunched up now, isn't it? But if you'd like a science sheet so that you can record your findings along with me tomorrow, then send me a message over on Instagram and I'll send you the download. Are you, are you wanting to say something to Robin? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go on then. Robin, um, I think when 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 I say Robin, um, he just wants a a current bun. Do you think so? Yeah. I think. Do you want to give? Do you, can you blow Robin a kiss and wave? Ah, Robin, I think you have a fan. <laughs> Well, it's been so lovely to see you today, hasn't it? Goodbye, everybody. If you only watch over on The Fish, then I will see you next Friday at half past two. And for everybody else, I will see you tomorrow at 11am for science. Yay! Oh, and Elliot is excited to craft with me. Oh, that's so, so lovely. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Mwah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>